Okay, it's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. I'm joined by Chris, Real Ale 140. Hello. Uh, on a slightly cold November afternoon. Mm. Nice though, nice and still, no, no wind. Just some sun a minute ago. Yeah, yeah. And today we've got a bottle Chris has brought round of Professor, Professor Green's Remedy Pale Ale coming in at 4.5% ABV, brewed by Signature Brew at the Titanic Brewery. What we were thinking before we kind of press record on the camera is that they're the small London based brewery mm. signature and they want to use Titanic's kind of volume of beer, the, the capacity of the brewery. And then this beer, you know, by the way, is found in Morrison's. Um, so, yeah. you know, if you're going to get your beer into a supermarket, you need a certain decent amount of volume to do it. Yeah, you know? yeah. Which is why you, you'll see us do beer sometimes. You think, well, I can I get that? Well, they ain't nowhere near you because they can only supply local. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, which is clever. It's mm. clever to say, bang, we're out there. Um, signature brew then. What do we get, Chris? Uh, it's got a kind of old-fashioned kind of uh, like American-style label. Hmm. Yeah, like a crazy medicine kind of thing. Um, it says they believe in real music and real beer. Uh, interesting to know what they define as real music. Or indeed real beer. Not to say that it doesn't suggest this is a camera bear, but that doesn't mean mean anything particularly. Yeah. yeah. Um, I'm not fussy about that. Okay, I'm about ready to get this in the glass. Let's see what we get here. Nice colour for a pale ale, Chris. Yeah. It's very modern. It it looks uh, well, at risk of without before I smatter it. It looks it looks American. Hmm. From that colour. Do, do you know what I mean? It, it yeah, looks like yeah. it's going to be. It's, it looks like it's going to be maltier and, and piney. Very nice, clean, crisp, clear glass of beer, isn't it? Yes. Nice carbonation. Nicely spaced and big, biggish bubbles. Yeah. Colour. Um, sustain the head. It's an amber. You know, mm. just, you know, what you could wear this as a necklace, or to trap a mosquito in it and start like a dinosaur farm. Yeah. It's that kind of colour. Yeah. Brilliant. Brilliant. One finger, white head. Yeah. Should we get a nose? Nice and fluffy. Cheers. This reminds me of something. Um, it's got relatively malty kind of hits on the nose. Yeah, it's got that kind of Styrian golden spiciness about the aroma. That yeah. classic Styrian golden hop. I think it says the finest, finest fresh British ingredients. So, uh, with mm. the involvement and inspiration from Professor Green. Now, You'll have to forgive us, YouTube. Yeah. Is this the same Professor Green? Uh, I think does music. I've seen it on one of these quiz things. Ah, maybe then. Or, or is it actually a Professor Green who's a brewer? And I well, they've mentioned thing. music, haven't they? Yes. So perhaps it is Professor Green. Maybe, maybe Simon and I will go and listen to Professor Green after we finish this. Comments in the comments box. Yeah, below. Let us know. Google it for us. Yeah, I want to Google it. <laughs> you Google it. Cheers. Cheers. Nice and malty up front. Big bang of lemon. Yeah, and then a gentle kind of, it passes over. It's like, remember Will Carlin, the English rugby player? He was always kind of... Bumchin. Yeah, that's the guy. Big, strong, kind of malty, up front kind of rugby player, if you like. And then and then it was a kind of a gentle pass off of the ball. And that's that's where the hops come in. It's a gentle, it's, it's not... It's quick feet. Yeah, it's not aggressive from sweet malt to big banging hops. It's it's a gentle kind of floating the ball into the bread basket kind of. Yeah. If that makes any sense to you whatsoever. It's, yeah, because like you said, it's not aggressive. It's not aggressive in any way, actually. From from the mouth feel, it isn't kind of yeah, with yeah, the bubbles. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it, that malt, it comes in nice and sweet. Really sweet, actually. The, the, more, the more I've had of it, the more yeah, the more I'm getting that sweet maltiness. And then, then the hops are kind of overlaid over the top, just gently kind of dropped in. Yeah. And kind of, you know, a bit of floral kind of hit comes on it. But not so much from the nose, you know, that, that's all in the taste there, I think. I like it. I like it. I generally, um, it's it's nice and, it's not overly zesty and lemony. No. It's something you could kind of... It reminds me of Peerless a little bit, one of theirs. 
together yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah. They, um, they, 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 we did the Golden Ale. Was it a Golden yeah, Ale? Yeah, I think it was a Golden Ale. Yeah. Something, something like that. Yeah, it, it's it's good. It's it's good. It's 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 spicy. Mm. It's spicy. It's malty. It's it's called remedy. I think that's interesting. What would you call your beer remedy? Oh, yeah. You know, clearly, you've got the marketing thing, and if they had the idea to do the marketing thing with the label in that kind of way, and it's a remedy, but like you can't kind of snake oil salesman kind of thing going on. That's that's one thing, and it's like an old-fashioned cough medicine picture. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I don't know. Is this a remedy for something for you? I mean, is this a? It's not a remedy for a hangover. I, I don't think it's that kind of gentler beer. No, no. Um, What's it a remedy for? It could be that Lim Prodigy ly lyrics. I got the poison. I got the remedy. <laughs> no, probably not. Probably I'm being silly. Yeah. Um, I now you've got the remedy for that. That's what they say on the bottom. Except yeah. or don't accept imitations. It's it's trying to be bold. I think it's trying to be bold, and and uh, I think I think the th the thing for this is it. It's got this flash new kind of nice advertising. Uh, it's got a big brewer helping it along, you know, giving it a bit of a nudge. Try to move in some quite big circles. Yeah. And I think what it could be actually is a gateway beer. Yeah. This, this is a good gateway beer. If you if you're new to beer, if you're if you're used to lagers and all this stuff, this is a beer that could entice you into giving the other beers a go. Mm. You know, and Morrison's is a good place for that. There's lots of gateway beer going on there. Yeah. It's uh, it, it just as I was going to mention then, with the, you had a bit of a burp coming on. It's it's nicely carbonated. I wouldn't say it's overly carbonated. It's not no. kind of aggressive in any way either, is it? No, it's not going to bite your face off in mm. any way, shape, or form. So, if you're a kind of a, you know hugely experienced beer aficionado, probably not for you. If you if you're newish to beer, if you're looking to try beers and get into beers and. Yeah. You know, you've had something like a Spitfire and you thought that was all right, but you weren't quite sure and it was a bit horrible or whatever. This is this is your next step. This is your little foray into IPAs. But don't don't think this is the be-all and end-all of what no. an IPA could be, because no. it can go bigger in many, many ways. I mean, you know, if, you, if you were looking to make that next step, then the Kernel Brewery in London, another London brewery, makes some fantastic pale ales. That would be an obvious next step, wouldn't it? Yeah. I'd say. Hey, but any number, that, uh, Red Church. Or, you know, yeah. Part of Sand, that might be a bit bonkers. Weird yeah. beards. Yeah, yeah. Um, Beaver Town. So many good London breweries at the moment, but I think there's always a gap in the market for good gateway beers. And I think maybe what we're lacking at the moment is some newer ones on the market mm. because you've got your old kind of stalwarts. You've got your, um, oh, uh, not, uh, Gold, not Golden Pride, the other one. London Pride. London you've got, Pride. London Pride, you've got Mars and Pedigree. All very good gateway beers. Um, Bombardier, you know, that kind mm -hmm. of stuff. Oh, again, gateway beers, but nothing new and flash on the market to entice the younger crowd. And I think, I think you know, the way you're going to keep brewing fresh and the way you're going to do it is continue, continue to entice a younger market. Yeah, not yeah. teenagers necessarily, but yeah, a younger market of, of men that will continue to invest and drag the movement along. Yeah, I, I totally agree with what Chris is saying. Um, so what I'm going to say now to Chris is that what would you rate it? It's okay. It's a bit malty, a bit lemony. Nice gateway beer. I could drink it without being too offended. It's a six, I think, for me. You know, yeah. It, it, it's nothing. Nothing that's going to blow your socks off, but it's worth trying. But then again, it's not. It's not something which you you would really want to. I'd be. I've been frustrated. The last few reviews I've done of of um of the Morrison specially selected beer range and, and I've really gone out to town on it and said look it's, it's ridiculous you couldn't sit here and, and really slate this beer could you no. but then on the other hand you couldn't kind of rave about it it's just, it, yeah. it's just a good solid brew one one criticism I will have and, and say is that this is, this is a four and a half percent beer it's in a 330 bottle yeah what's all that about yeah yeah could be and and, and maybe the whole the whole don't accept imitations uh, it, it's 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 maybe pushing a little bit to what, what you can do is you can go for a four and a half percent beer like this, or look two or three rows down and pick up a punk IPA. Yeah, for probably about the same money. And I know I don't know where my money would go. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. I'm going to join Chris on a six out of ten. Um, join us. We got some good beers coming up uh, this week on the, on the show. Um, 
keep in tune, keep in tune. Put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer reviews and cheers.